Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share uh, the flip through of this final uh, journal. It's a Christmas journal and uh, I just had tons of fun with this. And as I've said, kind of been saying in my last videos and sometimes I, you know, just repeat this in my videos is I try to uh, make every journal special and every journal unique. Of course it's unique because they're all different, but you know, I want to make them each one special and, and add new things and new techniques and make each one better and better. So, uh, you know, I really concentrated and focused on that in this journal. So I hope you like it. Uh, there, the front is this cute book and it's about, let's see, I just measured it. It was five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. So since it was a little taller than my normal journal, like usually traveler's notebook size standard is my pretty much my tallest, which is eight and one quarter. Now well, this is eight and three quarters if you compare it to that size. So a nice little size really. A good size for say a December daily or you know any journal because you have plenty of room on your pages to just jam pack in your whatever you want to put in there. It's got two signatures and I used a five pamphlet stitch since this was a little taller than like uh, my last few journals. Uh, I did use a five pamphlet stitch on my magazine journals uh, thick because of the eight and one quarter size. So since this was eight and three quarters, I did use the five and three quarter stitch, or yeah, pamphlet stitch. And so here's the back. I've got, you know, this fabric wraps around, pretty green fabric uh, that I've we believe I received this from Laura and I added the uh, trim here you can see this zigzag stitching I mean not zigzag this is um, Rick Rack a little collage here or cluster to cover up a barcode there's two trims on the front here this one is a vintage trim and then this one is more of the Rick Rack so I've got two trims on the front so in the closure is I've got some eyelets here with uh, some more of this fabric as the tie closures. So let's just get started on the inside. Uh, each signature has 32 pages, so that's 64. Uh, and then, you know, double that for fronts and backs. Uh, this is the cover where inside the cover I added scrapbook or cardstock scrapbook paper inside the front and back cover as it was just plain white. So, of course, I wanted to do something with that. Uh, this is a page from the book here, Best Christmas Present Ever. I thought it was cute for a pocket, and uh, it is backed with some, uh, I think it was, what did I put behind there? Some cardstock or some something. There's a, it's a double. Whatever it is, I doubled it up at, for strength, and I did zigzag stitch around that. Here I've got... Uh, this is I uh, re been recycling or trying to use uh, reuse and recycle and repurpose some of my Christmas cards, some of my old some of my old Christmas cards. So this was a pretty Christmas card that I had. It's got if you want to journal on the back of it, it's got plenty of room there for writing, and it's got some uh, this fabric I've been using lately, this red uh, fabric there as a little tie. And this is one of the Christmas cards I showed, I think yesterday when I was working on my December daily in that video, I showed where I was uh, copied. I just had like four, only four Christmas card, you know, old, like antique Christmas Christmas uh, postcards. And I didn't want to, you know, use those up. So I did copy them and this came out so nice. It looks so good uh, next to the original. It looks like the original. But it is a file folder on the back, and you can write on here and if you want, or use it for decoration. So really pretty, um, you know, vintage uh, copy there of a p antique. I think that that was one of the ones from 1906 or 1907. So uh, really pretty little Christmas postcards. And then this is another card. We start off with another card I was recycling here. This pretty one that has the red truck and the Merry Christmas. And then on the inside, I aligned that Christmas card since it was plain white here with some uh, Christmas stationery. So I put a piece of that there. This is from an ideals book. And then this was a piece from a Christmas card right here too, a pretty piece that was left 
from something else I cut off. This piece was left and I thought it was so pretty. I made a pocket out of it. And this is on music book paper, which uh, this is, uh, I think this is some of the paper from my mom, which is all uh, vintage church music. And then here's some more of that trim, like this trim I used on the front cover too, right here. That's the same trim right here on this page. And then I tucked this uh, tag in here with a pretty lace trim. It's burgundy and then some pretty leaves are on there to match. And then we just, as we flip through, uh, this is a page from the book. And there's some pretty, there was, I didn't put all the pages from the book in here because they weren't all really, you know, uh, that Christmassy. I don't know. <laughs> they just, you know weren't that Christmassy, but the Christmassy ones, there was a few Christmassy ones in there. And so I put that, this one is a boy getting ready to s sled down a hill, and that's very wintry and Christmassy. So the next page is the cardstock Christmas paper I used in here. There's quite a few pages of this, and this is the one with the snowman. And all of these, as I said in my last few videos where I used this cardstock, I dyed the backs of these all green, uh, spritz spray not just a solid dye, it was, they, were, they were sprayed with the green color. So in this pocket, another piece of a Christmas card that I fixed up. This was on the inside, I love this font and these, just this whole look of this font. It's a, it was a vintage Christmas card. And then I added this sticker and I just thought it was so perfect. And so that is a journaling card in here. And this was uh, taken from last year I had bought at I think I got these at Dollar General. There were little uh, like clothes pins, the mini clothes pins, and these little Nutcracker soldiers were on there. So I actually took a couple off and made this one into like a little tiny cute tag. <laughs> so I put a hole in him right there and put some fabric here and I thought he turned out super cute. Just trying to use up my Christmas stash and uh, you know, trying to think of, you know, something different that I haven't seen. So that was something different that I thought was really fun. I did pick up a new set of, let's see if I have them here. Uh, if I find them, I will show you. I probably already showed you, but in case I didn't, I picked up a new set of, here they are, rubber stamps at uh, Tuesday morning. And they were perfect little... I've got them opened up here, and I've got a, there we go. So, yeah, I used one right here with some, I think this was my uh, coffee-colored ink, not the vintage photo. I don't use that for stamping. This is coffee-colored ink, and I stamped warm and cozy right there. This is um, one of my vintage, uh, you know, paper coasters, and this page is from a cookie, Christmas cookie, a cookbook. But back to the rubber stamps, I picked up this, if you can see it, uh, on this clear package. Uh, this was a neat little set, and I think it was only like $2.99 or something. A really good price at Tuesday morning. And it has a bulb that says Merry Christmas here, like a Christmas ornament. A spray of flowers, like right here. I don't know how good these are showing up on camera. Here's the warm and cozy. Here's a wreath. Here's a little snowman with a hat. Uh oh, one's falling. Mittens right here. A uh, this says "Be filled with joy" and pretty little you know flowers and you know uh, probably there's some I think I see pine cones and evergreen around that. And then the last one is a little snow globe right here. Super cute, right? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love a snow globe, right? So, yeah, that was a fun little set I just picked up, so I got to use that in here for the first time. And there, that's probably the first place I used it right there, and I thought it was really pretty. So, on we go, cranberry paper. And I've been trying to explain when I say cranberry paper, but I just probably didn't explain in every video because someone asked me. But I'm using the term cranberry paper because it's cranberry colored, and it's Christmas time, so... I'm using that term just for my journals during the holiday season, but it's not dyed with cranberries or anything. It's dyed with burgundy writ dye, just in case anybody wanted to know. I just wanted to make that clear. It's not cranberries, it's cranberry, it's burgundy writ dye. 
So the next page is from the book. It's a cute little one with that boy delivering a package on his sled. And then the other side of that page. And then we've got some graph paper. This is coffee dyed uh, tracing paper. Some more of my cranberry paper. That page is so pretty. I love that color. And then here I've got, this is a page from a, let's see, this one's I think from a children's dictionary. And on the corner here I have sewed on with zigzag stitching a uh, bridge tally card and it also acts as a tuck spot. So I tucked in there this Christmas envelope that I had in my stash. It says express mail on it like a letter to Santa. Here's the back and then in here I just put some, I made some little journaling cards out of my cutoffs trying to use up some of those, you know. So I've got three in there. And those have so many uses if you're a junk journal journaler, you know. But if you're new, you can use them for journaling, but you can also use them for decorating your journal. You can cut them up, you can make pockets or more tuck spots or whatever you want. Use them for the base, you know, like a frame under something, you know, layering, whatever. Whatever your imagination will let you do. Here's this, this coffee dyed paper here, and this is coffee dyed lined paper. Then some more of the cardstock Christmas paper, and this is the middle of, a, of the first signature. So in here, um, let's see, let me show you how I decorated this. Take the little goodies out here. I've got the green lace here down the middle, some snowflakes up here, and I've got two little foam gingerbread, one on either side of the pockets. And then in the middle here I have, I've been trying to use these buttons and couldn't really figure out the whole time. Uh, out of all the journals I've made this Christmas, and I've made a lot, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with them. I mean, you know, you can use it as a charm, but I didn't know where to where I wanted to do it, exactly how I wanted to hang it. So I decided to go ahead and put it on here. And what I did, instead of uh, trying to, because this is a button, this is actually kind of like a button. It's not really a charm. So it has the little loop here on the back where you would sew it onto a piece of clothing or whatever. So... I just put both of the strings that are here from binding and put them both through here, tied a knot on the end, and it kind of hangs right there. Uh, it kind of can slide up and down, you know, it's not tied exactly in place, but uh, and it can be removed if you wanted to put it somewhere else or if you didn't like it right there. But, uh, you know, I thought it was something different because I usually see people tying two things onto the strings or nothing. And so I just wanted to do something different, so I put both strings through there and use that pretty button. It's a, it's a metal, it feels metal to me, I don't know if it really is, but if it's plastic I guess it could be, but it feels like metal. <laughs> so it feels like a metal met button and it's a Christmas tree. So, oh, let's put the goodies back in there. So this is another piece of a Christmas card. It was an old vintage one that is, uh, you know, stockings hanging by the fireplace, really cute. And it was, I think I distressed around the edges and, you know, just cut it out and made it into a journaling card. So that is in there. And then this is another piece from a Christmas card that uh, is, you know, real thick. I don't know if it was thick, this thick or if I, I don't remember if I backed it with something or not, but it's very thick and it's been distressed around all the edges, front and back. And then the other side, another Christmas card. This is the one I did on video with the duck and the little puppy and looks like oh there's a little cow back here I think you can look at it whoever gets it and decide whether you what do you think that is it could be a dog another duck no that's a puppy but that's awfully small anyway or maybe it's a kitten I don't know there's something right back here it looks like another animal in the hay maybe in a barn or something and then uh, on the other side I actually put an envelope that I wanted to use, trying to use some envelopes that came with Christmas cards that where the flaps wouldn't open. They were old cards, you know. The flaps wouldn't open, so I backed it. It's got like three layers here. This picture, a piece of card, and an envelope, and then I just put some stickers here, and I thought that could be a nice journaling card there. So just to, fun to try to think of things to do with uh, and re, you know, repurpose things. This is another envelope. This is really cute. I got this, I think I got this at, I think I got this at an estate sale. It's a money envelope, so it's, you know, long and narrow like this. And it says, best wishes for 
a happy holiday season. Got a pretty scene there. It looks vintage. No date or anything, but you open it up, and I did put some some cutoffs that I made into like tags or journaling cards here too in this one. So, and I had to cut them to fit in here because it's kind of long and narrow. So, that's just a fun vintage envelope there. And so, this is the back half of the first signature. Here's another another uh, stamp that with that coffee that's so pretty. It almost looks like gold, that coffee colored ink. And it says, Be Filled with Joy. That's the stamp I just showed you with the pine evergreen around in the pine cones. You can see how that comes out so pretty there hopefully you can see that and that's on coffee dyed paper those stamp that color just looks so pretty stamped on coffee dyed paper um, so back half like I was saying and you can kind of see what's here um, this is that Rolodex card I talked about talked about in one of my videos where I did show these pages before so this is that flip down Rolodex card where you can I was just trying something, you know, an idea I had, and I thought it would be fun to have a flip down of a Rolodex card. <laughs> it kind of sits up like that, and you can write here. And you can decorate this. I was very tempted to decorate it, but I thought, you know, what if somebody wants to write all over this, and they won't want to decorate it. So whoever gets this journal, you can write all over it. You can decorate all over it, or both, or whatever. I just left it for somebody to do what they wanted. But I did put a little sticker right there. I couldn't resist and then so you've got some more cranberry paper here and then I did put a doily I folded over a doily on this page I think that looks so pretty when you just let the page show through the doily and it gives the doily strength without just having the doily as a page you have the strength of the page added to the doily and you still have a doily in your journal <laughs> so anyway that's folded over there here is the uh, another pocket here with a couple of uh, this was also made from a card, and I did sew around the edges there with red thread on that journaling card. Pretty cookie card. And this is a piece from the, uh, you know, the Christmas card stock I've been using. So this one is backed with coffee dyed paper. It feels really neat. And then it's got a little glittery Christmas tree on here, a sticker. And it's sewn around with red thread. So I did do quite a bit of sewing in, in, these, in this journal. And then we're at the back, almost to the back here of the first signature. Uh, here's a trim here. It's a fabric ruffle that's sewn on with a little bulb pin with a charm that I made out of a foam gingerbread man. And I put a little heart on him. And a little heart sequin. Sequin heart. So here's the back of the first signature where I showed this before where I... I used an index divider card, a, a large one here, just experimented to see how it would come out, and I like it. It's nice and sturdy and gives you a nice kind of surface to write on there. And I put the stationery. This was the back of the card, you know, the card that we have in the front here. You know, it wraps around to the back. Put a piece of vintage note, lined note paper here, okay, on this side, and that's sewn on. On this side, I had, it's the card, so you've got the you've got the note paper, the divider card, the card from the front that wraps around, and then on the inside of the card I put this another piece of this Christmas stationery. So that's four layers there. So that's very very strong, but you can see it flips nicely. And then so the second signature, I also started this one with a pretty card. Okay, it's a pretty poinsettia card, and then on the inside of this one it was white. And um, I decided to, I uh, wasn't going to put anything here, but it was, you know, I was turning through, trying to see what I wanted to do, and it um, this needed something. So I had this piece of card sitting here. I thought, well, why don't I just make a flip up? So I sewed on a hinge with some ribbon. This is like, this is grow grain. It's kind of like grow grain, grain. It is grow grain ribbon, yeah. So I sewed it down on this side to make the hinge, and then I sewed the card on. So you have room to flip it all the way up. So this actually could be written on on the back of this. Let me put it down where you can see it. The back of it here is where it flips up. You can write all over the back of that. And then you can write all over the card. So it actually made it 
you know, pretty on the back of this card, plus you have all that writing room. So then the next page is uh, Christmas stationery, coffee dyed. And then a pocket here that I put on this uh, dictionary, children's dictionary page, okay? So this pocket was fun. I had a piece of the fabric, Christmas fabric that I received from Laura. I was trying to use every piece of that because because Laura sent it to me and I didn't want to waste any anything that or any piece of anything that someone sent me in Happy Mail. I feel like I'm almost, it's almost my like my responsibility not to throw anything away or waste anything. So this was a piece of fabric. It didn't really have much on it. It's just kind of like a beige or yeah, I guess it's kind of beige or cream colored fabric with it. It had little um you know, holly, pe you know, leaves and berries on it and stuff like this. That so this just this piece was mostly cream colored, and it had a little bit of the flower right here. You can see a little piece right here, but I was like, I don't want to waste that. It's a good size piece, and it was. And I thought, well, it's a perfect size for a pocket. So I had this piece sitting here, and I sewed. So I decided to, I sewed it onto this page that fabric that I'm talking about. And, the, and I sewed onto the fabric this little piece here to decorate it. Because like I was saying, it was just kind of plain beige, except for this right here and this right here. So that gave me a pocket right here where I put this card. And this is a vintage card. And it was really neat. This is really fun, kind of a funny story. I picked up these cards at, I think I got these at Goodwill, and they were in a box, taped shut. But I love the size. Like, I love this size card when I'm looking for cards. And I actually went into Goodwill this night, and I was like, I hope I find some little cards. I mean, I guess I just put good vibes out there because I went in there, and I found these cards. <laughs> and so, cute little Christmas scene. And so, I didn't, I couldn't really open, I mean, I could have really broke into it in the store, but I didn't. It just had two pieces of, like, scotch tape where it taped down the sides, but it kind of wrapped around, not a lot, but just wrapped around the bottom, you know. So I didn't really, really want to see me. I don't want, didn't want to, them to see me breaking into this box to try to see, because I could kind of see well there are little cards in there. They're really cute. I like them, so I'm gonna get them. And it looked like I could tell there was quite a few in there. So I got them home. I untaped the uh, lid, and uh, I opened it up, and uh, it was a cute little card. It was a cute little card, but <laughs> they were all um, kind of printed with. Uh, there was a company. It was a company name right down here where it was like, thank you for your business this year from so-and-so, you know, Happy New Year or something. That was imprinted right down here. In fact, if you try to look in this pocket, you could probably see it a little bit. But anyway, I was like, okay, well, perfect opportunity for me to decorate. Yay. So I get to decorate the inside of this card. And I had this piece that fit right here perfectly. So I put it here, little train, and that gave me a little pocket. So I put a little gingerbread tack in here. These are the tags I got. I like his arms sticking out like, like this. He's got his little arms hanging out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are the tags I got from Dollar General, but I did add a little eyelet here and some baker's twine, which is super cute, right? And you can write on that if you want. So that is in there. I actually meant to stick something. I'm trying to see if I have anything in here. I will give you something special in this pocket right here. How about, okay, This is, these are really special, so let me see. I guess I can put one. I don't have very many of these. I just got these, and I'm gonna pull one out here just for this journal, because I'm just going to. Okay, this is good. This is a vintage game I picked up yesterday. I'm gonna show it in my next video, but it's super cute, and these little cards were in there. That's why I got it. I, I got it at, uh, where did I get it? Salvation Army. I was at Salvation Army yesterday, and I saw this, you know, under some stuff, uh, you know, a stack. I don't know. It was at, maybe it was in the toy section. It was under some other stuffed animals or something. So I was like, "Ooh, what is that?" There was a box under there, and it looked old. So I picked, pulled it out. It was a small box, and some of those small boxes are usually games, and sometimes they are bingo games. So I was like, "Oh, I wonder if that's a bingo game." So I pulled it out, and this this little game was in there, which I like. I said I'm going to show it in my next video. But it had all these little cards, but not a lot, a few. But I got it because they are super cute. And this one's a little clock. And it says, what's my number? So that is going right in here. <laughs> Perfect little thing to fit in that pocket. Yeah, that is neat. 
So uh, this is the other side of the dictionary page. On here I put a little cluster just to, I do love to decorate these like book pages with text. And this one has red words on it, so really cute for um, Christmas. And so I had a piece of scrap fabric here. I had a snowflake that I put on here, both red. And I was really trying to use this piece right here that I had cut out from, again, from Laura's. That was that Christmas fabric from Laura. And I think this was, besides that pocket over here, this was the, that, that, these were the last, I think, two pieces I have. And I might have a little tiny piece hit somewhere, but I think I used every single piece. Anyway, I was waiting for the perfect spot for this. And so... Uh, I said, well, this is this is it. I got to use it in this journal. I'm going to use it right now. And so I flipped through and I found this spot and put it right there. And I think it's like when you turn it over, I think it's really pretty right there. So that's what I did with it. So to go on to finish out this journal. Okay, so here's a pocket here. And here I have, uh, this is a little kind of journaling card I made with a piece from, I think this was from a, this was either from a Chris, no, I think this was from an Ideals magazine. That little scene right there, it was a cutoff or something. I was like, well, I have to use that. It's so cute. It was a horse and buggy, or a sleigh. I guess it's a sleigh and, and horses pulling the sleigh. So I had to use it. So I made a little journaling spot out of it. I sewed it onto some ledger paper. So that's in that pocket. And then these are the, I think I had a video where I was making these tags. And so I put one in here. It has this pretty green and I think that's blue, navy blue on there, ribbon. It already had the reinforcement on there, which is neat. I put this little sticker on there. I added this, uh, vin I think these are vintage and it's a old world Santa collectible card. And I did round the corners on it, put another sticker down here. But these are so neat because it has a flip up here. This first piece here is a flip up and then you can write under here and you can do something on the back if you wanted to. So I put one of those in there. I have a few left, so I had one for this journal. And then this is a, you know, one of my coasters. I, I don't think I use any of the same ones. I have four different one Christmas coasters, now, paper coasters, which, which I believe are all vintage. So I put one there. Okay, this is something else I decided to try out. Just having fun and trying to do different stuff, you know. So, uh... And I might explain this later, but I did put a little uh, journaling card here. And this is a piece from a Christmas card. I attached it with an eyelet. And I put a little tag down here, too, where... So this kind of can flip down if it, you need to, but this journaling card flips out, too. I did this in my uh, December Daily, I think. I don't know if I showed that yet. But anyway, that was a fun element. So, as we go on, this was page was from an Ideals magazine. I thought it was really pretty, this red over here, really pretty. And this is a vintage uh, computer stationery with the uh, holes for the track. And then I put some trim on this side. It's a ruffle, fabric ruffle. Some of the trim, like on the front right here, this piece right here is that trim. Uh, piece a page from the cookie Christmas cookie magazine or cookbook that was better homes and gardens you can see right there and then just some other papers here which I've shown before computer uh, Christmas card stock here's the middle of the second signature and this one I decorated like this it has a whoops that was my my washi where I was holding down this the uh, wax cord. This it is wax cord that I bound it with, but I was trying to hold it down so I wouldn't have to hold it onto it when I was binding. Anyway, uh, doily here with some piece of the cardstock, the Christmas cardstock, and you you've got two pockets here. On these strings, I put a little red bow button. So this is also a button. And it did, I did the same thing where I put the strings together and then put the button on. So that's the same, kind of the same as the first signature, just a different button. And this is a kind of like bookmark tag, bookmark or tag, or bookmark tag, <laughs> that I made from a piece of uh, card. You know, I was recycling those cards. So that came out pretty. It's got fabric on the top and some little stickers. 
This is another piece from, I think this was from also from a card, I believe. These pretty bluebirds in the snow. And that's made into a journaling card. And then this is uh, another piece from, I think this might be from Ideals Magazine. But it's backed, it's a card stock. So it could be a card, but it could be a, a card, you know, file folder sandwiched in between a magazine piece and a, this looks like ledger paper on the back. And that is sewn around. So that's in there as a journaling card. This side, another piece from, I think this is also from uh, Ideals Magazine. You can tell from the color and the scene almost if you've seen Ideals Magazine, you almost recognize, you know, that kind of uh, look that they have. And that's put on file folder and distressed on the front and back. And I thought that made a pretty little journaling card. And this is one of the other tags that I got. Uh, the, these little, or I had these cards that were had penguins and snowmen on there. And this is one of the penguins that I showed on a previous video. I was recycling, you know, recycling or repurposing and making into tags. So I put a little eyelet right here, and then some baker, baker's twine for that little penguin penguin tag and he's right in there so really cute and so we're on the back half of the sign second signature another one of the Rolodex cards like I did in the front half uh, here is the music book paper with the paper coaster fabric ruffle with a little charm here bulb on a bulb pin it's a star with a I think I have a double layered sequins there so it's two sequins to make that pretty little shiny part in the middle of the star. A little bling there. And then here's a pocket with a several pieces. Uh, I've got decorated this little piece here. This is a kind of a, uh, it was like a time card that I got in Happy Mail. And I put a little piece from a an advertisement here that I thought was just really pretty train, Christmas Christmassy looking train in the snow. And then this was from a card, The Season's Greetings. And this little piece right here was a cutoff that I thought was pretty. And I just ended up putting it right there under The Season's Greetings. And it looks like it came that way. But I actually put that all together. So, And I thought it was a fun little... This tag was, or this tab was already here. And I thought that was neat. And so I just thought it was a neat little uh, journaling card. So that's in there. Here's uh, This, is, this was uh, from something that I repurposed and recycled and cut that out of something and made a made a little tag out of it that I think I yeah I did that at the beginning of like in October so it's kind of what did I do back in October this is just a little tag that I was having fun with it's a was a scrap from a manila folder and I just made a tag out of it and th there's a little eyelet right here with some cute little Christmas fabric so that was all in this pocket right here for fun. And then we're at the back almost. This is the doily in this uh, signature. Uh, this is an envelope that I put on here. It was a pretty envelope from that card with the church on it that I showed you, the little card that I got at the Salvation Army. This was the envelope from it. And it was so such a pretty little envelope. I wanted to use it in here. So it had this little kind of evergreen branch here with a snow on it. So I put this piece on here from another card. These gloves are mittens, and they're like Christmassy mittens with candy cane in them. And I used a piece of uh, Christmassy paper here as the hinge that folds around this page to hold on the envelope. I did put some little mitten stickers right there too to decorate further. And then inside uh, the envelope, I have some more of those cutoffs from the Christmas card stock. I think there's two, there's at least two, maybe three in there, but that, that's right there. And then there's a paper coaster up here folded over the top. And that's actually on a piece of a card, the card that starts at this, this signature out. So uh, to finish up, the back cover here, I used another pretty little page from this book, this little boy staring at a Christmas wreath and it looks snowy there so I thought that was really pretty so I did the same thing I got it backed with file folder probably and sewn around and put right on this cover as a this back cover as a pocket and then in here another one of my 
copied uh, vintage Christmas cards and it's backed on in, onto manila folder distressed all the way around the front and the back and I just think those came out so pretty so that is in there as a journaling card and that is it I think you've seen everything and uh, I said in my previous journal or videos where I'm showing my Christmas journals all my journals are coming with one of them you know they all my journals come with a goodie pack but during Christmas they're all coming with also one of my little uh, the little um, money card Christmas journals that I've made so yeah if anybody purchases one of my regular size journals I'm as long as those last as long as I have some I will send one along too with you know the journal if anyone orders a journal during December so uh, that's it for t for now and yeah that just ties up like that it kind of wraps around this little tie uh, fabric here I thought it would just wrap around and then tie it in a little bow here on the side which was my idea of uh, a closure on this one <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cute I'm not exactly tying it right right now but anyway you get the idea of how it's supposed to be and so that's it and I will see y'all next time hope you enjoyed it and happy crafting and Merry Christmas see you later